Thank you for taking the time to visit Rochester Heating and Air here on YouTube. The purpose of Rochester Heating and Air videos are intended for licensed HVAC professionals. The content of these videos could be hazardous to the untrained person. For the homeowners taking the time to view these videos, they are intended to educate the homeowner only. They are only to demonstrate to the homeowner what to look for in proper service procedure and proper installation practices. Please do not attempt any of these HVAC procedures conducted on these videos at home. Failure to comply with this disclaimer puts the homeowner and their family at risk of serious injury or worse. Call a licensed HVAC professional. We are very happy that you took the time to visit us here on YouTube. We would be proud to help you with all of your HVAC needs, whether it be a service call to get your equipment up and running again or an installation of new equipment we are here to serve you. If you are in Louisville, Kentucky or the surrounding areas, please give Rochester Heating and Air a call at 502-643-0220 or email us at www.rochesterheatingandair.com. Please stay tuned for the upcoming video. Okay guys, we're going to shoot a little, me and Sarge going to shoot a little more video on uh, the direct drive furnace blower motors. and. Uh, we're gonna, we gotta make a little road trip real quick and uh, we're gonna get right back with y'all. Ain't that right, boy? Huh? Me and Sarge just got back and I figure we're gonna shoot like a part two, I guess, of the direct drive furnace blower motor, this Wagner motor right here. And uh, what she is, she's a 115 volt, half horsepower, 1075 RPM motor and uh, multi directional. Um, and what we did last time is we actually uh, we shot a little video on what we did was we uh, determined what would be common to run, common to start, and start to run. We actually looked at our exploded view we have right here and we see that uh, on our drawing here we have white and they're telling us that white is line common, okay? They're telling us red is low speed, blue is medium speed, black is high speed, and they're telling us our brown and, our brown and white and our brown Going into our cap, our yellow and green is our ground, and here's our uh, multi-directional. Uh, clockwise would be orange to purple, yellow to brown. And if you want to make it counterclockwise, you just switch the module, and it will be orange to brown, purple to yellow. Okay. So what we did, I'm not going to put you through all this again. What we did was we ohmed out the motor, and basically we acted like we had a three-wire motor to determine what was our common to run equals our lowest resistance, common to start equals our medium resistance. Add these two resistances to equal your highest resistance, which we all know is start to run. So what we did, we started out, and we ohmed out our black to our white wire. We came up with 1.7 ohms. We ohmed out our black to our brown wire, which we came up with 53.5 ohms. We ohmed out our brown to our white wire, which was 55.2. We added 1.7 plus 53.5, and we came up with exactly 55.2. Guys, it's not probably going to be always exactly right. I mean, if it's way out, we know we got a bad problem. Okay, so what we did out of this was we was actually trying to determine what was what. And we, uh, if you notice, we see this black twice here. And if you look up here, we see our common twice. This indicates what our common is. So now we've determined black to white common to run so now we know black is common white is run and that was 1.7 black to brown black to brown common to start medium resistance so we said black is common brown is start 53.5 okay so we have the two left over which is our start to run highest resistance so we determined brown to white brown was start white was run and we came up with 55.2 so we know this motor sound so after we conducted that test we uh, came over here and uh, uh, got on this nice little drawing uh, that uh, engineer from Florida was kind enough to send me and what we did here was we took our uh, our white to our black owned it and we got 1.7 then we took our black to our blue we got 0.9 then we took our blue to our red we didn't have a yellow we took our blue to our red and we came up with 0.8 we added these up and we came up with 3.4 and then we tested from red to white and we came up with 3.2 so we're definitely in the ballpark here okay guys all right well what we did here was we determined that uh, all of these all of these are part of the run winding the white is a main common run winding 
the black is a main common run winding the blue is a main common run winding if we had a yellow it would be part of the main common run winding and the red is part of the main common run winding we actually took a, did a little test here where we determined the black was the common see See, that's what can, can throw you off a little bit uh, where it's saying the white is the line common. Well, we did determine the white was the line common, but we determined also that the black is actually common, okay? So what we did is we took and we tested from uh, brown to white, I mean from uh, the brown and white wire to the black wire, and I believe we came up with like uh, one point, yeah, we did. We came up with 1.7 also, which proved that it was part of the run winding. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to, it's probably not going to be that exciting, but uh, I'm sure some of my friends will appreciate it. What we're going to do is we're just going to do a little ohming on this side and do a, do a, do a couple little tests. So uh, if you want, just stick around with me and I'll get right back okay, to you. Okay guys, we're back up. on the auxiliary winding side of this motor, this Wagner motor here. This multi-directional, multi-speed motor, three-speed motor, half-horse, uh, 1075 RPM. So what we did on this was we determined that this brown and white is actually part of the white the run winding, the common run winding, okay? And you can see it tied in right here. Uh, what we did was we proved a point that we knew that our black is actually common. The black is actually common. So if you took this brown and white to this black, we should get that 1.7 that we've seen. And I, uh, let's go ahead and do it one more time, okay? The black, common. We just, we, we discovered that by doing our tests. And we're going to take it to the, if we can find it, we got a jumbled up mess here, to the brown and white. Should be 1.7, 1 1.8, 1 something like that. Okay, we got 1.7, okay? 1.7 from the black to the brown and white right here, our auxiliary winding, part of our auxiliary winding, which is actually tied into our main run winding. Okay, well, if you're looking at it like this, you should be able to take the brown, which we discovered we, through our testing, that our black to brown was the start winding. So, from this brown and white to this brown, which is made through the capacitor, we should have uh, 55, we should have our start to run. We should have our start to run 55.2, somewhere in that ballpark. Somewhere pretty close. So let's try that. All right, let's go from our, we have our brown and white right here. Let's pick up our brown. Should be somewhere close to 55.2. And we're at 55.4, guys. That right there tells me the brown is the auxiliary winding, the start winding. The brown and white is the run winding. Now, let's get in here to our module. We can actually do tests with our module, too. You see how our brown right here is tied straight back in through our module, through our uh, male side of our module. And our purple is actually tied back into our black right here. All right, guys, let's let's test this real quick. Okay, boy. Do you know what auxiliary windings are? <laughs> do you care what auxiliary windings are? Okay, our buddies do. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna get back after it. So what we did was we determined our brown and our white, or we didn't, we did a test and we determined our brown and our white to our black gave us 1.7. And that's what determined that our, uh, our brown and white wire was also a run winding, okay? White is run winding, black is run winding, blue is run winding, yellow if we had one run winding, and red is one winding. Okay, all right, so we determined also that our brown is our start from our tests. So what we're going to do right now is we're actually going to test our uh, our uh, our uh, clockwise counterclockwise module, and so what we're going to do here is we're going to break it loose if we can, and I did, and I've already uh, I, I rigged up some doodahs here, and what we're going to do is we're going to plug it into our female side of our doodah. Okay. And it's actually showing open line. All right, why is it showing open line? Well, that is the purple and the brown side of our module here. Okay, and it's showing open line. Well, the reason it's showing open line, let's take a peek. What I want to do is prove a point here. 
on our female side of our module, it's going back to our black, which we know our black is our common, okay? And it's also following back up to our brown, which we determined our brown was our start, okay? Now, to have this complete, we need to go in between a run capacitor. That makes our brown and white, which we proved also, is our run winding. So what we need to do here is, uh, what this is actually telling me on this, this purple and this brown, this purple and brown is actually common to run. Let's see if we get 1.7 out of this. And do you know how we do this? It's not tied in yet. What we're going to do is we're going to take our brown and our brown and white and we're going to tie it in, redneck style. What do we got? one point seven ain't that something guys ain't that something so now what we're going to do is we're actually going to test our uh orange our orange and our yellow which is the male side of the uh uh, uh clockwise counterclockwise module so let's see what we got on it we have 1.7 from our purple to our brown we put it tied in a little doodahs there and we completed the circuit by taking our brown and white to our brown. Okay, guys, let's see what we got. Okay, guys, now let's test the, you know, we're on the auxiliary side of the motor. Let's go ahead and test the uh, orange and yellow. The orange and yellow, the male side of the windings on this motor, which is our clockwise, counterclockwise. You just reverse the module to get it to do what you want it to do. All right, let's see what kind of test we can do with this. Let's go ahead and ohm it out. Okay guys, we're looking at 53.4. 53.4, where's that on here? That looks like that's common to brown. What's common to brown? That's common to start. This is the auxiliary windings. This is the start winding side of the motor. Now it doesn't matter whether or not we take uh, take the uh, capacitor out of the loop. You know how we tie it in our brown and white and our solid brown. Doesn't matter. It's still the same. That side. That this is this side of that motor. But uh, man, guys, I hope y'all got something out of this. I love doing these, um, and I appreciate all my good friends and buddies chiming in and everything. Um, I reckon uh, it's starting to get late. I'm getting tore up by mosquitoes out here, man. Don't want no West Nile crap going on. I also got a box of goodies I wanted to turn y'all on to, but uh, that's for a later date. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, man. Talk to y'all soon.